Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to easily remove unwanted objects using a few different methods, a few different retouching tools within Photoshop. So let's jump right in. Okay, so now that we have our image in Photoshop, the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate the layer. You can do this on a Mac by pressing Command J, or you can go onto the layer, right click, duplicate layer, and it'll have the same effect. So let's say we want to remove this brown horse in the picture. It's a fairly large part of the image, so I'm going to be using the Content Aware Fill tool. So what I'm going to do is select this horse using any of the selection tools. So I'm going to show you two ways that we can make this selection. I'm going to use a lasso tool first. And because I'm aware of how content aware fill works, I'm going to be selecting an area outside of the horse and giving it a little buffer, if you like. So I'm not going in really close because using the other method, I'm still going to have to expand this selection. So I've done a rough selection around the horse. That's the object that I want to remove. So now I'm going to ask Photoshop to fill the area within that selection. Edit, Content Aware Fill, and this is going to bring up our Content Aware Fill window. So now we have a preview section over here. Uh, we can see in real time any effects that takes place. So what I'm going to do is let Photoshop do the work for me. So I'm going to hit Auto here. And we can see that it's done a calculation based on the surrounding areas. And it's done a pretty good job on here. So we can see over here as well, the green areas is the information that it's used to sample and to fill this area from where the horse was. Okay, like I said, I'm going to show you two ways of selecting this. So I'm going to cancel all of this and I'm going to hit deselect. So I'm going to go to select, deselect or hit command D on a Mac. Okay, so another way that we can uh, make a selection is come up here to the selection tools, grab the object selection tool and just draw around the object, which is the horse in this case. And Photoshop will do its magic and select the horse as best as it can. Okay, so now that we made this selection, we're gonna go back up to the edit content aware fill and we're gonna bring up this window again. So what I'm gonna do here is click on auto so it's going to try to fill that selection that we've made. And we can see it's not done a very good job. We still have the outline of the horse right here. And it's, it's not a very good job. We can do better than that. So if we come over here to the selection, we can see that it's a very tight selection. So what we want to do is to expand that selection. We're going to come up here, hit the lasso tool if it's not yet selected. And then we have an expand and contract. So this is going to expand the selection, which is what we want to do and by how many pixels. Now the maximum that we can do at any one time is 10 pixels. So we can go from one through to 10 on here. But the cool thing about this is if we hit the expand button once, we can see that the selection has grown a little bit around here. And we can also see in the preview window that it has gotten a little bit better. If we hit the expand button a second time, we see the selection grow again. And we can see the result is a lot better within the preview window. Now at this point, if we aren't too happy with the selection that is automatically generated, then we can go to the custom. And what we can do if we hit the sampling brush tool is we can select, and you have the control over the size of the brush, by the way. So we can increase or decrease the size of the brush. And we can control the size of this by hitting the square brackets on your keyboard to increase or decrease the size. So what we're gonna do is manually select the sampling area so we're telling Photoshop, this is the area that I want you to sample. And you're going to use that information to then fill in the selection that we have made. So this green bit is the bit that I'm sampling. And that's where I wanted to choose from. Say, for example, we had a more complex image where it was a lot more busier than here. Then this might work better than the auto selection tool. Okay, so if we look in the preview window, we can see, again, it's done a really good job at filling in that selection. Now it's done a really good job and it's even as good as, as the auto selection. They're about on par. So what I'm gonna do now is hit apply to accept that and I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna then deselect this by pressing command D or going to select and deselect. And what I'll do for now is merge these two layers. So you select both of these layers and you merge layers. 
So we have one layer to work with. Now, if we come back across here, we can see some issues here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. We can see some issues where the fill didn't work 100% and we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna fix that by using a couple other tools. And I'm just gonna show you a few of the available options. And one of my favorite tools is the patch tool. So what I'm gonna do with this patch tool, I'm gonna to zoom back out a little bit. What I'm gonna do with this patch tool is make this selection right here. So again, this is not a tight selection and I'm leaving space outside to help the software to do its job. And I'm gonna just drag this onto an area that looks similar and I release it and there we go. It's done a pretty good job of retouching that area. If we look here as well, we can use the same thing, use the same tool, drag it to an area that looks similar and away we go. Okay, so the next tool that we're gonna be using is the healing brush tool. Now the healing brush tool requires you to take a sample of one area of an image and paint it onto the other area. So I'm gonna be sampling this area right here and you hold down option and click in the area that you wanna sample. And then now you if, you, if you move this along, you can see that sample is moving with the brush. So we're just gonna do is paint over this area and we've sorted that bit out. Again, we have a little patch right here and we could sample that area and easily get rid of this. All right, so let's have another look at this image and see what else we can do. And we can see we still have some issues down here. So I'm gonna use the healing brush tool again. I'm gonna sample this area and I'm just gonna paint that. Sample, and you, you, what you should do is keep sampling as you go. And keep changing the sample area so that you don't start creating a noticeable pattern. So the other tool that we want to talk about quickly is the spot healing brush tool. So we have these lines right here on the face of the horse and I'd want to get rid of these lines. So that is perfect for stuff like this. Just make the brush size a little bit wider than the line that you're trying to take out. And we're going to just follow the line along and release. And there we go, the line is gone. I'm going to do the same for this one. Take this spot away as well. Now that's looking a lot better. There's a couple more things before we leave here. Um, and these rocks just in the corner here, they're very distracting to the eyes. I'm gonna remove them. Like I say, the patch tool is one of my favorite tools that I use. And we're gonna go over there with the patch tool selection, and I'm gonna just drag this across. Now, as you can see, we have a preview, and you know you can sort of gauge where we can put this. And then you can get a feel. After you've done this a few times, you'll get a feel as to where the best area is to use to clone this. So there we have it. We've removed the horse from the image and we've tidied up a couple of bits of areas on there as well. So sometimes you'll find that you'll have to use more than one of these tools in any given situation to reach the desired result that you want. But that is it for this video, guys. And I hope you guys learned something new. If this was useful to you, hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video.